Hi, it's Shandy from ExpressionFiberArts.com and today we are going to learn how to do a double crochet. In patterns, this is abbreviated as DC and you're going to see this all the time once you start to read patterns and crochet a lot. So you definitely got to know how to do this. If you missed my previous episode on how to work a slip knot, a chain, or a single crochet, or my other video on how to do a half double crochet, you can go check those out. I will put the links below. For today, you're just going to need to know how to do a slip knot and a chain. And if you follow along with me at the end of this video, we'll have this awesome headband. Yay! So go ahead and grab some yarn, grab a hook, I'm using a size H, and start with a slip knot. Like so. Go ahead and place that slip knot onto your hook and do a chain 11. Chain 11. Okay, once you have your 11 chains, we are gonna start our first double crochet. So skip the first three chains and we're gonna work into the fourth chain from our hook. So to get started, do a yarn over and insert your hook into the fourth chain from your hook, like so. Do a yarn over again and pull the yarn just through the little chain. And you now have three loops on your hook. One, two, three. Okay, do a yarn over and you're just gonna pull the yarn through the first two loops, like so. Okay, do a yarn over again and pull through the final two loops on your hook. And that is your first double crochet. Yay! Awesome possum. Okay, let's do it again just to make sure you've got it. Start with a yarn over and insert your hook into the next chain like so. And then do another yarn over and pull it back through just the little chain there. Ta-da! And you have three loops on your hook. So yarn over, pull through the first two loops on your hook. You have two now. Yarn over, pull through two. Ta-da! That's your second double crochet. So you're gonna work one double crochet like that in each chain across until you have eight. Because remember, we skipped the first three chains. So you should have eight. Now, this is a little bit different than you'll see in a lot of patterns, but pull your yarn up like so to get it into position. You won't see this very often, but it's really, really awesome. It works so well. And then we're going to do a double crochet into the last double crochet of the previous row, right there. So insert your hook, after doing a yarn over of course, into, the, into both little legs there of that double crochet in the row before. Yarn over and pull the yarn through both of those little legs. And you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over and pull through two again just like we were doing before. Again, you're not gonna see the start of the rows like that in most patterns, but it works really, really well. So you're just gonna repeat this for every row. Yarn over, insert into both little legs of the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through just the little stitch there. Okay, yarn over and pull through just the first two loops. And then yarn over one more time and pull through the final two loops and that's another double crochet. So you wanna make your piece as long as it needs to be so that it wraps comfortably around your head. Just repeat this row over and over and over making sure you have eight stitches on every row. Finish with a chain one, pull up a length of about, oh, a foot or so, nice long tail and cut that. And then go ahead and pull that out like so, ta-da. Take a darning needle, these are so handy. You definitely wanna invest in one of these, they're super cheap if you plan on crocheting very often. They're just wonderful for weaving in your ends and joining sides and doing all kinds of stuff. So just grab your little headband and you'll wanna weave the ends together, make, making sure not to have twisted your headband. All right, if you liked this video, Please subscribe because one, it'll make my day, and two, it'll make you a better crocheter. <laughs> Not really. Well, yes it will because I have all kinds of videos coming out and you do not want to miss them. 
So once you're done, go ahead and give a snippy snip and make sure to turn your headband inside out and ta-da! Look how cute you are. You're so cute. Yay! Please head over to my blog, sign up for my email newsletter because I give away all kinds of awesome stuff. And stay tuned for this awesome flower here. I'm going to show you how to make that in an upcoming episode. So I will see you next time. Bye-bye.